Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rosie here, and I play Dead by Daylight, so you don't have to. Another discussion video, bro. Uh, as you play more killers in this new meta, which by the way, the fast fall changes are so fair. They're so fair, bro. I like how when the survivor vaults outside of the fucking, uh, they vault outside of the fucking killer shack, and then they're just halfway inside of it already. Love that. Good stuff behavior. Also love how whenever they vault from a drop down, they're just impossible to hit. Gotta love that. Good stuff behavior. And by the way, can we, fish the, can we fix the fucking dead dog saloon stairs yet? When they're going up the stairs on the dead dog saloon, not in the main building, talking about near the outskirts where there's, there's the whole other section of the town. There's a couple gens up and there's a few kiting locations up there. There's stairs. You ever try to take a basic attack swing was as they ascend those stairs? You ever tried to do that? Uh, behavior, fix your shit. Fix the fucking game. Terrible garbage. Okay, anyway, going back to the main topic though. In this new meta where it is possible even likely that behavior has int introduced more infinites that survivors just haven't found into the game with the introduction of made for this hope and made for this as a combo and these stupid new busted vaults that have only been in the game for a couple days but they feel they feel right at home so glad they're here um what you notice is that this game is is different now and one of the ways you can see that is in, I think, this killer specifically, Z Doctor. Now, it will come, like, like one thing, one thing people will be inclined to argue here is I'm about to, I'm about to shit on the Doctor. Doctor is a character that I, I believe when his rework came out, I threw him at low end of A. I think I had him in top 10 at one point, low end of A. And then as the years progress, he's been, he's been a, he's been a consistent B tier Keystone killer. Right, that's kind of where we had him. I, I have fought. I mean, I'm just, I'm just telling you about my history with Doctor. I would, I would fight with people that would talk about Huntress, and I would tell him, I would tell them that Doctor has better, is better than her with, with, with when Huntress isn't, of course, lobbing whales and, and whacking you when you can't even make any attempts to dodge because the hatchet's flying 40 feet over your head and you still get hit. That shit. Like, ignoring all of that crap, the Huntress is, is, on paper is more limited than, than Dot. Like, I, I've stuck up for this character a lot. And even as the popular consensus is that he is bad and the buff is not aging as well as as it could. Like, the, his rework from a couple years ago is not is not aging particularly well. We got some issues that we need to take another look at. But... So it may be it may be inclined for some people to remember my history with the character and say, Rosie, Doctor was never as good as you thought he was. Doctor has always been pretty shit. And, and when, when MMR was in the game, when, when, when MMR was in the game and being accurate, I don't know what this thing in the game is calling itself MMR now, but when actual MMR was in the game, Doctor's kill rate fell 10%. That was the highest of any other killer. So it's like I'm not telling you what to think with with with, with the new with, with all this stuff. You can you can say Rosie, you, blah, blah, blah. you you can say whatever you want about my past opinion on this character. But I'm here to tell you that this character's shit right now. Okay, so it's like Rosie. He was always shit. He's been shit for years. I don't like. You, but I'm telling you that the issues that this character has. This is my actual argument. The characters. The characters. The issues that this character has in the game right now are horrendously accentuated by this meta by this fucking fast vault 20 feet meta the made for this meta the hope made for this at the end of the game uh the th this character's issues are are being highlighted extremely right now and when it's like okay let's take uh, this is something I, I said on my stream today after i played some matches i'm like guys clown is better than doctor now a hundred percent and it's like okay well why did i say that because look at clown's kit Clown gives himself haste, hinders the survivor. I, I, I believe if you run that, that extra hindered bottle, they even slows them down even further, which is an extra, like, what, 4%? That's a, that's a huge mate for this counter. Clown, as, as bad as Clown is and always has been, Clown is, is, is in a particular interesting spot to actually challenge the haste meta of the game. And what I mean by that is, I was like, Rosie, Clown's not beating Swift. Of course not, of course not. Of course we know Cloud's not beating Swift. I'm just saying, when you're looking at all the killers in this game, the Clown is more prepared to deal with haste. He's more prepared to stop fast vaults and turn them into slow vaults into hits. 
Clown is more prepared to get the fucking pallet down and kick it. That's something even Freddy does better than Doctor, get the pallet down and kick it. Freddy's teleportation is more lethal than anything Doctor has. Doctor right now is shit. And I think let's go, let's go over why. Okay, so Doctor's power, he shocks you, and then you... <laughs> All clear. <laughs> he, he zaps you, and then you can't vault or pull anything down, right? That's, that's the big thing. Okay, the, 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 the major instances where this power is working right now are like when you're kind of far away and you're stuffing a transition or some shit. That, that, that's the most success I've had with it. Very occasionally, there'll be an odd-shaped tile that it oddly favors his power, and you as a doctor player will immediately recognize those tiles as they come up. Like, you'll see it, an oddly-shaped tile. Maybe it'll be, well, there's one on Larry's that other killers can't really challenge, but doctor kind of can. There's some, inter there's, there's some tiles... And what I'm talking about is like in the corner. It's got like a pallet that's mostly safe against the rest of the roster. But the way it's shaped like oddly plays in the doctor's favor. You know, if you know the tile, it's like smushed up in one of the corners of the map. Uh, I could draw it out, but you know. So my, but my point is there's some interesting tiles where doctor can kind of do something. But, but like what happens, let, let, let's talk lads. What, let's talk about what, what's Doctor's problem. And again, you can always say, Rosie, Doctor has always had this problem. Again, it's being exemplified right now. It, it is more prevalent now at tiles it wasn't prevalent at before, I would argue, because of the of, of the made-for-this-haste meta that survivors have right now. And when they get off hook and you're trying to tunnel them, this is why Doctor's tunnel game is particularly weak, because they get they, they still get that extra movement speed. They're, they get 10%. They go, you're moving 110 as you tunnel them. Ridiculously bad. But anyway, so Doctor has this issue where in certain tiles it's just better for him to straight up run them m1 because his power doesn't do anything like like you're better off just rotating around it m1 because like the survivor as you shock them the survivor ends up like not losing as much distance so they can get extra rotations and then your power still isn't like good enough to to like actually secure a hit you just get the pallet down later so like all that shocking all you really did there was like build up a tier three but like what's that really going to do for you any good survivors getting out of tier three in like 10 30 20 30 30 seconds max it does not it doesn't take long to get out of tier three if you're not trash right we all know that so what but it's like okay but like a lot of tiles, like a Temple of Purgation has a lot of them. Like, a lot of these, Cold Wind, obviously, McMillan's got some. Got these tiles where the power just doesn't fucking do anything, okay? By adding 3% more movement speed, especially adding 10, so when they get off a uh, tunnel, when they get off hook and have hope at the end of the game, so especially end game and then when you're trying to tunnel somebody, especially adding 10% more movement speed to the survivors, what that does is it makes even tiles that Doctor's Power could kind of play, those, those kinds of tiles where they can get an extra rotation and then slam the pallet in your face. Whereas before, it's like they would sync up kind of online to be in line with the movement speed that he needs to kind of get a hit instead of the pallet in his face. Doctor's Power, like all killer powers, by the way, Doctor's power is specifically designed to go after survivors that are fucking at 100% movement speed. Adding haste obviously makes it harder for every single killer, but the way that Doctor's power is specifically is designed, it's definitely designed to go after people moving at 100% movement speed. If you decrease the speed gap between a survivor and this killer, uh, this killer has a lot of issues. Because he can't deal with that. He can't deal with that. It's like kind of back in the day where it's like Doctor was a little better because, you know, you could shock and then Dead Hard couldn't come out. Like Doctor kind of had some stuff to challenge that particular looping meta. This particular looping meta eats his ass alive for that reason that they exemplify the tiles he's weak at and transform tiles he could usually get you at into tiles he can't get you at, which means longer tunnels, more gens done, more losing control of the game. Longer tunnels means less like stack blast is less good because knowing where they are doesn't really matter because they can just kite you and they can kite you, which again has always been Doctor's problem. So it's like Doctor's issue has always been that his power is not that good at certain tiles, but this meta's this meta's making it worse. This meta's shining a ginormous magnifying glass where it's like clown. It's like okay, clown's a little bit more prepared to deal with this because Dead Hard's not there anymore. Dead Hard's not there to screw Clown like it kind of did before. Freddy can still get the pallets down. Freddy can for Freddy and Clown uh, are better equipped to force pallet drops than the Doctor is. They they are. They're it's like okay, well, like like I like Doctor is like the more you think about it, for him, the worse it gets. Like honestly, 
He's not a very complex character that he doesn't have a lot of mix-up potential. Whereas Freddy, some a character like Freddy, as bad as Freddy is right now, he's got a, a an ability to mix up his chase game while the survivor's oblivious through teleportations to become a bit more lethal and get secure a bit more gimmicky downs. Doctor doesn't have that mix-up potential. You play one Doctor, you've pretty much played every single one. He doesn't have that ability. He doesn't have that ability to transform his chase game and up it to a new level. Even Clown has an ability to like, okay, it's like, I'm going to use Invigorated and then use, in, like, Clown can like use pink bottles and then sometimes he'll use yellow bottles. He can use a combination of both. Clown Clown has enough options to kind of transform his game enough to get those pallets down pretty quickly. Again, getting the pallets down is, again, that doesn't make the Clown good. Because obviously getting the pallet down is not getting a hit. But Doctor's so far behind these characters that it can be hard for him to get the pallets down. Pallets against this character can stay up much more now than they could before. Before all these base kit buffs and these base kit changes to the survivors. Obviously, Doctor still has his camp game. He still has his save the best camp game where he can he can shock somebody, deny hook saves. He can still do that. And he can still, if you bring the 75% range one, he can still kind of fucking stuff out some transitions and shit. Like, he can still do s some stuff. Like, his camp game's probably better. His camp game's definitely better than Freddy's, and it's it's it, it rivals Clowns at least. If it's not better, then it at least rivals it. They're in the same tier. So, like, he can still do things, and he can still kind of set himself up for a good early game to get some kind of information to get into a chase as fast as fucking possible. But it's just, against good teams, this character's lethality is very much in the shitter right now. It's very much in the shitter. And I don't know what to do about it. Uh, I, I, I guess maybe he... Uh, does he slow down when he's shocking? I know he doesn't like get, have to swap between the two modes anymore. Back in the oh my god, that that version of Doctor would be, be a D tier right now if he was in this game. Treatment punishment Doctor, where you'd swap between the two hands, he'd be fucking he'd be probably bottom five trash right now. As as far as I mean, this Doctor's probably getting there. He's probably he's falling every day. Like like, like Sadako just got buffed, so she's better than him now. I don't know, dude. This and again, you might we want tempted to say Rosie Doc has always been this bad. Doc has always had these issues, but it's just, it, 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 I, I mean, I, I'm going to keep, I'm just, I'm going to say it again. There's just an alarming level of consistency that you notice now between, but, uh, but uh, of, of, there's an alarming level of coherency and consistency to what the survivors can do against this character now. It's, it, 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 it's much more frequent and at maps that realistically shouldn't happen at anymore. With low save, with a low save count, this character is one of the most non-lethal things in the game. He's worse than Demogorgon. Now, Demogorgon's taking a big jump up because of base kit mechanics. He, I think he's worse than Clown. Like, he's... Uh, I, I, Sonico is obviously better than he is now. Like, like the amount of jumps... Like, it's like, okay... I mean, okay... I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know. Uh, it's like, it's hard for me to even say he's better than Ghostface or Myers at this point. Because of how good that uh, how how good and consistent Myers' camp game is, where it's like Myers' tier two camp game was affected, but his tier three camp game was, and Ghostface can just fucking if, if if a Ghostface knows how to use his marks, holy fucking shit, guys! Ghostface's marking is much better now. It's not like the best, greatest thing in the world, but it's like they have there's an add on that decreases the time by twenty percent. He can hold on to his marks for a much longer period of time. Marking somebody as Ghostface is like worth it now. Like all, like all of these things. So it's like, okay, he's better than Legion. He's better than fucking Trapper and Pig. Boy, it's not looking too good. It's not looking too good for Doctor Bro. He's a character like I like. If you're asking me, Rosie, what killers should we be taking a look at next? I got four. I got four for you: Doctor Hag, Myers, and Trickster. Bitch boy. Bitch boy. These are the four. These are the, Myers has needed a rework for years. But it's like I don't think Myers needs a rework. Just give Myers some buffs, please. Myers deserves quality of life improvements at this point, I would argue. He's so old. His kid is so outdated. Just give Myers one or two quality of life improvements. He could be something, dude. He's all right. His, I mean, his tier one is ass, but uh, his, the ability for him to camp a survivor is really good. Uh, every exposed down you get is a hard counter to made for this. And, like You don't have to do those long-ass made-for-this chases. Like again, like, again, being injured is really powerful, again, because of made-for-this. 
and Dead Heart can still be good in it too because Dead Heart made for this fit together really well. So it's like you see a lot of survivors foregoing other exhaustion perks and just using Made for this to do bullshit chains and then keep Dead Heart in their build for anti tunneling purposes and then to sponge a hit when they need to. Of course, all the exhaustion perks aren't dead. You still got life. I see a lot. I still see. I see. I see life balance sometimes. So, uh, occasional sprint burst here and there, but. Uh, made for this is dominating the meta right now, and and and, and it's it's really rough. And it's really rough for this character because of, of sp him specifically. But so yeah, I just I I think he is a character that needs another look at by the devs. It's it's been a little bit. It's been like what four years since his rework? Nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty. It's been like what four years? Maybe three. Maybe it was early twenty twenty. I think it was early twenty twenty, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. It was early 2020. So, it's been over three years since his rework. It's definitely time for him to get another look. And, 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 hopefully, I, I, one thing I think needs to come back on him, I, I think his add-on, his old add-on he had that gave exhaustion to Tier 3 survivors, I think that needs to come back. I think that needs to come back desperately. I don't know why they ever took that out. How dumb made for this is right now is like well, like I don't I don't know why they ever ever took that out. I've been thinking about running forced hesitation on them just to get like a huge amount of hinder to kind of deal with made for this. I've been thinking about trying that to see if it would do anything, but this character needs some 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 help. <laughs> this character needs a little bit of, of help. So I don't know. Well, I don't know what your guys' thoughts on that. Just kind of kind of. Tell Rosie what y'all are thinking about our friend Herman Carter because I think he needs uh, maybe I think he needs an add on a few add on adjustments and maybe a few base kit changes as well. So that's what all I gotta say today. I'm getting the hell out of here, lads. GGS.